Welcome, welcome to Kitchen Home. Well, 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 here we are. Kitch 39. Remember when it was Kitch 22? <laughs> it's August now, and in layman's terms, real summer. Me and my family are preparing for back-to-school stuff. There are a lot of shows to look forward to this fall. Well, maybe not look forward to, but at least look into once, just uh, for an excuse to eat popcorn. We have The Good Doctor, uh, airing fall 10 p.m. ETPTTP Monday. The Orville, fall 9 p.m. Thursday. If you couldn't tell, that's a comedy, but somehow listed under drama. Yeah. Gotham Season 4 will start Thursday, September 21st, and what really happened to the Penguin after the Riddler shot him? The answer may surprise you. Another Star Trek show, which is exactly the introduction it deserves. People have tried to play with Spock's timeline before and failed. <coughs> Star Trek 5. In all seriousness, though, I am interested to see Draco Malfoy's father, Captain Ship. We're so excited. And last but certainly not least, The Blacklist, Season 5, will move to Wednesdays at 9pm when it returns in fall. But fall's a lot of days, so, um, yeah. Also, we found out that the only thing we really cared about was already told in Season 4. <laughs> so, uh, not giving it away, though. My lips are glued, and not with the cheap glue stick that keeps nothing together, real glue, like Elmer's. Unlike these mysterious shows yet to be unveiled, I'm going to give you a clear, honest briefing of today's show so you can change the channel now and not waste your valuable time. First, we have question mark who will be here to discuss question mark, then we look in on question mark and question mark and see how they get out of that mess. Afterward, a few parting words from question mark and a hearty question mark. Clear things up? I thought not. I told you, Elmer's glue. But before all that, we have a joke from the Riddler. He just sent it to us. Um, it says, why did the belt go to jail? That's the question. I love what do you call jokes. We are here with our first guest, Raymond Reddington, the man of a thousand nicknames. Actually, I think the only nickname left for him would be either Mon or Ding. Personally, I like to stick with Ray. Are you sure? Mon has an interesting ring to it. Ray it is. So tell us, when you're not helping the FBI, let's face it, Lizzie, track down desperate criminals, who also, by the way, wouldn't be desperate if it weren't for you telling everyone about them. What do you do for fun? Well, apart from enjoying people's run-on sentences, I have a hobby or two. Okay, well, first tell me about hobby, then tell me about two. <laughs> yes, very droll. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Well, I do love to eat, which is apparent by my vest size. Oh yeah, it's a double-breasted, isn't it? I know, I know, very droll. Also, I can easily appreciate a good wine. What about beer? Do you appreciate that? <laughs> yes, on occasion, but not easily. Do you have any friends you can share meals with? Oh, yes. Take my partner, for example. I think he likes the finer things in life. Ah, here's my lovely assistant now. You've been on the phone for an hour. An hour and a half. I stand corrected. You often do, Mr. Vargas. Did you call for the car? Do I have to do everything around here? Are you just going to sit there all day? Aren't you going to answer me? Oh, I have a feeling you know the answer to all of those questions, especially the last one. I believe if we were in a daytime comedy, this would be the moment in which you would say, I knew you were going to say that, and the audience would clap and let out a nervous laugh, knowing that the two buffoons really do love each other. Do we have to get satirical right now? I just asked you if you called for the car to pick us up. Have I ever told you the story about the fox and the hound? No, not this hour. Aw, you've heard it. Oh, let me tell it to you anyway. Look, I love your abstract stories that end in gunplay. I really do, but I just don't have time. We have to get this place cleaned up before we leave. Fine, have it your way, but... Leave my fingerprints. I'm feeling rather devil may care. Just clean up your side of the room. I hate you. Oh, that's wildly unoriginal. But I accept it in the spirit in which it was given. That rude gesture, I don't accept. Um, Ray, I hate to butt in here, but didn't you have another hobby you enjoy? Oh, yes. The art of manliness. <laughs> it's a website I'm rather fond of. They have podcasts, a reading list. The whole thing is decked out in vintage photography. It's absolutely a gem. Just today, they had a wonderful 1918 poem featured, and also a step-by-stepper of how to ride a motorcycle. And don't get me started on the F3 group. Firearms? <laughs> Heavens no. It's a workout group. That's a shame. I had a few Fs you could add. Well, I better let you guys run. Oh no, he, he runs. I walk casually behind him at a non-nervous pace. That's because you're protected by the FBI. Just knowing you puts my life in jeopardy. So nothing's changed. Ah, <laughs> oh, those buffoons really do love each other.